Tyler Buckwalter, three and zero on the year, oh, and yeah. my my vote for flip of the week. I said there's a lot of wrestling left this week with Reno Tournament of Champions and all that, but you're down 5-1 at one point. Yeah. Strap a cradle up. Yeah. End up winning the match 8-5 against Joe Grand Domenico. Uh, when you're going out there, it's your third varsity match ever in a, a Kent State singlet. What's the mentality going out there? And, and what, when you're down 5-1, your team's getting spanked. Yeah. You're down 4-1, you're about to go 5-1. Yeah. But, uh... Yeah. Talk about that. yeah, I mean, I was a little bit nervous. I'm not gonna lie. There's a lot of people here, and it was only my third dual meet here at uh, the Mac Center, so it's a little bit nervous going out there. Got taken down a couple times, but I was got more comfortable as the match went on, and I got that reversal in the cradle, and then I knew I could. I just had to get a takedown in the third period to seal it, and I was able to do that. So, well, did, did, you, did you all, did you all score Ian again tonight? No, he, he got he got it tonight. No, he got. If I just would have got that turn, then I could have had him. But is that a roommate thing? Tonight. Two roommates win tonight for Kent State. Yeah, is that a roommate yeah. thing? It was a good night for Malloy Road. Let's put it that <laughs> way. <laughs> uh, you know, but coming off the knee surgery, are you weary at all of hurting your knee again? You know, you were you were on crutches two months ago. Yeah. No, no. The trainers did an excellent job getting me back. I feel real comfortable. Doesn't even bother me when I'm out there. So I feel real good. So with my knee. You're gonna start making an argument, I think, for national qualifications here at 165 pounds. What would it mean to you to get to the national tournament this year in your sophomore oh, year? That's definitely the goal. That's what I want to do. I wouldn't be satisfied for anything short of that, so got to get there. All right, as a student, you guys are like the House of Brainiacs and somehow Ian got in there. Hey. When you got the House of Brainiacs, do you elevate his level? Does he elevate oh, your level in wrestling and you elevate his level academically? Exactly. That's how it works. He makes me a way better wrestler in the room and I help him out a little bit at the house with the academics, so I think it's as high as GPA ever maybe this semester, so. Your brother Brother is wrestling for Lock Haven this yeah. year, right? Yeah. You're from Lock Haven, yep. Pennsylvania. Mill Hall. Mill. Well, is it Lock Haven? Lock Haven. You went to Central Mountain. Uh, you know, when you talk about Pennsylvania wrestling versus Ohio wrestling, we talk about the PA Ohio rivalry. But uh, you know, looking at that, and your brother wrestling for Lock Haven, could you guys potentially bump heads down the road, or is he up a weight? We could. He's at 174 right now, but um, I don't see him getting any smaller. So unless I get bigger, then maybe. But I mean, we'll bump heads it. over the summer. We'll bump heads a little bit. But so. not not in singles this. Season. Probably not. No, I don't see it. He's too big. He's way bigger than me. Way bigger? <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, when you guys are getting beat up like you're getting beat up, you know, they came out, they got beat up bad against Penn State on Sunday. Ohio State comes in here. They want to beat you guys up. They really want to send a message. Right. They worked out Sunday night after the match when they, they got home. Yeah. Wow. Uh, but how important to you was it pride wise? to get that win and, and flip it on them. Yeah, definitely. I mean, we would like to get some wins. You know, we'd have to have some pride for our team. We felt like coming into the match, we had a chance. And there was, uh, you know, a lot of like one or two point matches that could have went either way, I thought, that uh, we just ended up being on the short end this this time. But uh, it was uh, good for me to go out there and get a win for the team. And uh, Ian, too, Ian had a really good win. So, uh, I mean, we're right there. We're close. With a team like Ohio State, it was really good. So, we'll see. You strapped the cradle up there. Do you feel like you had the pin? Well, I don't know. If I could have held it there a little bit longer, I thought maybe for a second he was down, but uh, I mean, it was too quick. I couldn't hold him there long enough, but yeah, maybe for a split second. All right, you got some time off from school. What do you do? Read books? No, I hate to read books. <laughs> Just relax. Just relax? <laughs> yeah, I'm not a brainiac like that. All right. Coach Anderson says otherwise, but hey, you got anything else for me? <laughs> no, I'm good. Thanks. All right, congratulations on the one tonight. Thank you.